Hi, Cyberspruce here, back with another answer and mentions new game minus four video, episode 17. And yes, I said I was gonna go on short runs, but I've been, you know, busy. And, you know, like what happened with last episode, um, I had to do the voiceover. So yeah, I've pushed way too far. I have four galaxies. I almost have enough for 90 eighth dimensions, but there's some other things. The biggest one here is that I can actually get, if I do this, this achievement. There's no point in doing that, which means I can max buy Dimension and Tech Speed Boost. That's not going to be really useful for this run, but it'll be super useful for later runs. So, yeah, and, th and then, um, and then of course, it also gives a 10% boost to First Dimensions, which is not as powerful, but it's something. And then, I also want to try what this upgrade would do. So, you can see 647 Galaxy Points. I will export, just to... Just to um, Make sure it's the right thing. I'm gonna buy this. See if it's see if it does anything. Um, it's not increasing my antimatter here, but maybe I just need it to like reset like this, and that's why I was saving that tick speed boost. Um, it doesn't really look like it's all that powerful. It's it's only 548, and I mean it. Perhaps it's more powerful, but um, I mean I maybe the upgrade is probably worth it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm really not sure. I'm just I'm just gonna import my save and buy it afterwards because I because the thing is that this 647 galaxy points is just plain better. So at least I've gotten the achievement, and also this is now a little higher. So this should allow me to get a lot more galaxy points like quicker. And maybe now I should I should get this because. Now I have quite a bit more. This is now up to 0.31, and this will just this will just help short runs a lot. Um, I can max my dimension boost and tech speed boost, but I, I don't think I can max by time dimension shifts. So it looks like I want to get 65 galaxy points this time, this time per run. So it's only marginally faster, even with all the like achievements and everything. Unfortunately. I think this is just how it goes. The galaxies are really weak. Maybe maybe I should try to start getting the tick speed multiplier boost time dimensions. I could have tried to get that upgrade. But, I mean, could try it now, but it, it'll, it'll not do much. I think it's better just to keep the galaxy points here. Like, I'm, I'm getting a good amount of galaxy points for a minute. Like, I shouldn't be complaining. I'm getting, um, well, let's see. Let's see how many I'm getting per minute. Um, this is, yeah, like, this is at least 260 per minute so this is quite a bit faster than like the 180 to 200 per minute i was getting before and i mean i guess there is some other things i could try here but um like the problem is that i for whatever reason i can't upgrade this automatic galaxy interval which is extremely annoying i don't know why you can't do that because you can do that with all the other auto buyers Another thing I could try, actually, is to um, do the challenges I have just refused to do because they're just too hard. So I'm actually going to try it. It's the second dimension auto buyer challenge and the sixth dimension auto buyer challenge. Let's see if I can do challenge two. So you can just see how, how much slower this is, but honestly, this is a lot more tolerable than it was before. So... I mean, the thing is, it's automating everything, so I should probably disable my auto buyers here, and just do it the slow way. The thing is, I only need one galaxy, so that that will make things a lot a lot easier to deal with. So I'm thinking maybe once I get okay, this now, and this will allow me to, yeah, I'll I'll be able to beat this challenge in like maybe ten minutes. Not gonna be too bad. Like I'm already up to the first dimension shift. So I'm, yeah, this challenge is not going to be as bad as I feared it might be. And of course, there's also the time dimensions I should probably be getting. Probably should be clicking the N key from time to time, at least like right after I get a certain upgrade so I can get some time dimension stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's nice to start out with the fourth time dimensions. But yeah, it's just going to be a, a bit of a wait I'm just gonna cut this out because it's pretty boring. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and I'm getting sort of close to beating the challenge. I haven't even explained to you what this challenge is all about. This challenge is 
I'm buying anything will halt my production, gradually coming back over three minutes. You can see this percentage right here is the is a multiplier to all the dimensions, including time dimensions. So, uh, yeah, or maybe it's not including time dimensions um, because this isn't going up. Or this isn't going up the same way, but uh, it's probably not even listed on these multipliers. It's pro it's just it's just there in the game. You can see. Here and this is why I'm not like holding M down because I was holding M down. You can just see, look what happens. It's just stuck at like 0.01%. So, yeah, that's that. And I think it's just like one more um, dimension shift. Maybe one more dimension shift and then one time dimension shift and then I can beat the challenge. So, I'm almost there. Luck luckily. And this, um, this is going to allow me to get the second dimension auto buyer, which is something that sort of provided full automation of, of like longer runs. If I can fully automate longer runs, I, that could be very powerful because it could allow me to just like go in once every few hours and gain like 500 galaxy points without like doing any, without doing much like tedious stuff, tedious work. Um, I actually have four time, four dimension shifts, so I can get the time dimension shift already, and boom, challenge complete. There's only one left, and this is the sixth dimension auto buyer challenge. If I can beat this, then I can have the full automation. So, each normal dimension costs um, the dimension two tiers before it, excluding first and second dimensions with modified prices. This is the hardest, I think it's the hardest one, or maybe it's not, because this is super easy. Why have they not beaten this? Is this... It, it's because there's a bug. Also, I'm getting so much antimatter that I probably shouldn't even be getting this much antimatter. But, okay, this this is easier than I thought. I, this must have been one... I think this is one of the hardest ones in, like, some of the other other antimatter dimensions. Mo or, like, New Game Minus Minus and Minus Minus Minus. But, boom. All challenges are complete. Now, if I um, just enable auto buyers, I'll be able to do just fully automate runs. Which is, or, or, yeah, I, I can, I can even, like, fully automate, like, 65 galaxy point runs. I mean, that is doing, like, automatic time dimension boosts, which are not the greatest for, like, fully automating runs. Because, um, if I time dimension shift to the wrong place, it'll just reset all my dimension shifts. And I don't have enough here, like, you can see it's galaxies required always to time dimension boost. Um, I could just get this 65 galaxy points or lower to like 30 and um, use all the other auto buyers that don't involve the automatic like time dimension boost because I technically don't need that to like automate galaxy runs. Um, same with tick seed boosts and I don't really need sacrificing. So I, I, I will do this, but it's not really a necessity to sacrifice. So I think what I should do now is I should start um, buffing some of these auto buyers at least a little bit because I have enough galaxy points that like putting like less than 100 galaxy points into a couple of these would, it, it's not that much. So I'm thinking 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, just getting like three tiers of each and this will definitely speed up runs. It's still not as fast as I may want it to be, but fully automated, I could still be getting perhaps 20 galaxy points per minute without having to touch the, the thing. Unfortunately, the problem here is galaxies. Um, again, why can't I upgrade this interval? Seriously, I'm, I'm going to report that on Discord. And also, it doesn't help that my max galaxies is 1. So, yeah, I think doing that is going to help. Actually, what I should do is I should change this automatic galactic sacrifice from um, um, 30 to whatever it is with, I think, 7 dimension boosts here. So, you can just see, um, like this, this is 6 dimension boosts, 22 galaxy points, and then getting E37 is pretty easy. That's 28, so I'll just do, I'll automatically galactic sacrifice at 28, and even if this isn't... Even if this is once every three minutes, that's still going to be, like, nine galaxy points per minute. 
like completely AFK, which means that, um, like I mean, if if it's, I mean it's not like completely AFK. Like I think I still need the window open, but I have the window open usually for like over an hour a day, and that's like that's five hundred forty galaxy points per hour without having to touch the the thing. So that's that that yeah, it's gonna give me a lot of galaxy points. I think what I should go for next is take speed multiplier boosts time dimensions more based on your galaxy points. Um, I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough galaxy points for this. I want to go all the way up to maybe A E two, which is a good buffer to um, for this. I mean, this upgrade does look enticing because the thing is, raise the one point two five. That seems very powerful. So it's, the, it's this tick speed multiplier. So that's E nine in hexadecimal, which is that's probably like E twelve or E thirteen. And if this multiplier it's raised to 1.25, that'll add an additional 0 0.25 boost. So that's like, if that's like E12 multiplier, that will essentially give time dimensions, like before dilation nerfs, it'll give time dimensions a um, 100 times boost. However, it's not really gonna be 1.25 when I buy this because it's based on my unspent galaxy points. And then maybe I could try to look at this. This is, like, I'm pretty close to being able to get this one. You know, it's each bot time dimension boosts normal dimensions by the product of x over 6 and your multiplier of the product of bot. So I think what that means is that when I buy these time dimensions, it will boost this multiplier, which I think is could really help. Like, especially, it's not even based on galaxy points. So, yeah, this... Seems very powerful. It'll also make just buying these like stuff like this actually useful because it'll help this multiplier. And especially if I can get like eight time dimensions, that could just be pretty OP. So yeah, it's stuff to look forward to. I just need some more galaxy points first. I I think if I do get all the way up to something like one E3 in hexadecimal, which I'm approximately halfway to. Um, yeah, I think 1E3 in hexadecimal is 4,096, and this is probably like 2,000 and 1,000. So if I can get up to that 4,096 or just E3 in hexadecimal, that's going to be pretty OP. I feel like that'll start pushing the runs a lot farther, and I'll be able to get stuff like this achievement, where I gain more galaxy points based on my ace dimensions and your tick speed boosts. And then, I don't think there's many other achievements I can get now, but it'll be very useful. Like, Spreading Cancer does not give a reward on, like, New Game Minus Minus. So it's not really useful to go that. I, I, I probably will just try to get that off camera. It's essentially, I just have to switch to Cancer Notation and buy a bunch of galaxies. It's um, pretty boring, and, I mean, just doing that would make it so that I don't need to, you know, just show it on camera and waste time and even though i'm wasting time talking about it whatever hope you enjoyed peace out